Well, hello, you viewers of the Letter. How are we doing today? Okay. <laughs> this one, yeah. Well, as you know by that thumbnail, whatever else you clicked on, we're going to take a look at the Senbon Portable Kitchen Knife. Now, I'll be honest, I looked at the packaging and I went, okay, something Japanese, right? And yeah, okay, so there's the other fun stuff. But this is a case of... I was looking around Amazon. Yeah, it's it's huge for a folding blade. It, it really, really, truly is. And by looking at the picture and not reading the stats, I seriously thought it was a Japanese version of an open L knife. So I thought, okay, hey, that's cool. You know, just straight out bought, not at the cart, just straight by. I got it in and I went, oh, F me running. Now I have to do a review on this. Because as you guys know, whenever I make a mistake, I always still have to review it. That's a deal that I bought with my better half. Now what I don't understand, they send you a little burlap bag with it that they kind of expect you to put this, well, I should say, fold this up, put it in here and put that in your pocket to carry it around. <sighs> All right, let's get into the fun stuff like we usually do, <laughs> just so I can get this review done. <laughs> it's got an overall length of about 10.2 inches. The blade's about 4.8. Enclosed, we're looking at about 5.4. It comes in with an okay weight of about 6.34 ounces. Now, as you can tell, it's done in kind of like that cleaver style. I mean, not as aggressive in the front, but still, you can see it. We have a plain edge with a flat grind, and <laughs> I look it up, and as it says right here, I believe, where I got, yeah, 440A stainless steel. So, not a super steel, not a tremendously impact steel, but it's okay enough for kitchen work. We do have the little thumb disc, oh, I should say thumb hole opening, or you can just basically open it up like you would a friction folder. There is a stainless steel frame in there. Now, we do have a liner lock. And what I love is they put oh, natural, as if there's an unnatural way to make olive wood scales. Now, I mean, I guess technically you could say that's a lanyard hole going through there, but I wouldn't. That's just me. Because when this thing closes... Yeah, it's not really touching, but still. I don't know. I'll let you make up your mind on that. Land your hole or not. I could see me putting this in a camp kitchen gear pack. Really not an everyday carry kind of item. But because I bought it, I got to review it. So, let's do... Oh, yeah, and by the way, it is made in China. Even though I went looking up Senbon knives... And from my understanding, they're high-end Japanese kitchen knives. But they're made in China? So, I don't know. I'll let you process that one. So, we're about to do some cut tests. And if you're curious why I'm about to do these three, take a look right up there. There's a card for why I'm going to do these cut tests. <coughs> okay. First up, like usual, heavy-duty stock paper. Impressive. All right, let's see if we can get a curly cue. Yeah, it started. And then it's like something just twitched right up front, but still. Okay, really not a lot of snowfall. Kind of impressed. But here comes one of my, yeah, favorite parts. Paracord! Let's see how we do. All right, pull test. Hmm. Pretty clean. And let's go with a slice. Ah! And our favorite, Mr. Ratchet Strap. Yeah, right through that. All right, as we usually do, 
I'm seeing a little bit of like the ratchet strap through here. And yeah, there's a bunch on the back. Okay. So, I did the homework and all the fun stuff on this on October 5th, 2021. And it is currently October 12th, 2021. So about seven days apart. The only place that I was able to find this for purchase, and what's funny is when you go look on SenbonKnives.com, I think it is, this isn't listed. But I found it on Amazon for $27.99. It is Prime eligible. It's been reviewed 35 times for a 4.7 out of 5 star rating. That's right. We're at that part of the video that I love the most. Seriously, I really, really do. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you think this one's a noise or an F-bomb? A noise or an F-bomb? <sighs> I have no opinion. I'm not going to lie. I have no opinion. I thought it was going to be something a little bit differently. When I got it in, I went, hey, dumbass, you should have read the stats. But those of you who know my channel know that, yes, I do make mistakes. But still, moving on. <laughs> Man, if I made you laugh, made you cry, made you cringe, made you do anything, hey, please hit that big old thumbs up. It's free. It's only going to help the channel out by helping trigger that algorithm out there. I mean, the channel is growing. Let's help spread this insanity out there into the world, right? Now, for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know you've got lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you chose my channel. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why. What can I do to earn your subscription? Please leave me a comment right down below, because you never know how your suggestion may change the course of history of this channel. Now, after you've done all that fun stuff, I know it's all free. I'm asking a lot of you, but it's free. Take a look right down there. In a couple moments, you're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. See? One touch, easy access. Or one click, easy access. Now, after you've knocked the subscribe bit out of the way, please, if you so choose, destroy that bell icon that's sitting right next to it. Why? That's a great question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love out there on YouTube, two will be popping up somewhere over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Senbon Portable Kitchen Knife. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope all of you are having a safe day, a great day, and I'll see all of you in our very next video.